I'm here with Steve Mould. Hi. And you've probably seen his video already. We tried to figure out whether it was possible to bounce a bubble off a laser beam. If you have it, it's probably worth checking it right out right now. Where, where are the links? It would be here. In Steve's video, we talk about the inspiration for this project, this guy on YouTube. So we tested the effect with a few of my lasers, each one more powerful than the last. It's heavy for a coder. <laughs> <laughs> to see if they'd have any effect at all on the bubbles. Spoiler alert, it, it didn't work. <laughs> it even, not even a little bit. Didn't even work a little bit. And even with our massive 30 watt sky laser, just zero effect. But we thought, what, is there some way we could maybe recreate the effect of, laser, of bubbles bouncing <laughs> off bub what is it? <laughs> but bubbles bouncing off lasers is actually quite hard to say. Because we know it's possible to make it seem as if bubbles bounce off lasers because we've seen video footage of it looking like it's happening. So we want to be able to reproduce that. Yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> Thank you. <Yeah. laughs> Before we get into it, did you notice in Steve's video this weird diffraction grating pattern that appeared on the walls? We eventually figured out what caused it. I'll show you later. I'll also show you how we recreated the bubble bouncing effect for ourselves. And we hear from Igor in the original video and he tells us how he did it. But first, here's the result of our experiments and if you think you know the secret of how it's done, let us know in the comments. So, do you still want to know how it's done? I'm going to tell you, but just bear in mind that, I don't know, have you ever had a magic trick explained to you before, only to realise that it's actually pretty mundane? And this is no exception, so prepare to be disappointed. Okay, so here's the trick. Invisible thread. So how do you think he did it? Well, I don't know for sure, but I've got some of this invisible thread, you can see it here. Well, maybe you can't see it. Yeah, right. Let's see. It's super, like, transparent. Yeah, I can see it. I bought it a few years ago because I was doing a Christmas song with my wife. Uh -huh. And it's come in handy ever since. Not one time. <laughs> <laughs> So you can probably work out the rest. We fix the invisible thread around the laser pointer, then attach it to a fixed point on the other side. In our case, we used a Manfrotto Magicon. And then we just have to move the laser beam around with the invisible thread, desperately try to keep them together. Yay, look at that. Oh. It's funny because you're using the laser to guide you, but it's actually not what the thing that's doing the best. <laughs> Just greasing up the thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so soapy, it's gross. 
One so you split the three watt laser into five beams. Yeah. And you're going to line up um, five. So this way we could just, it's going to look like bubbles bouncing off a fan of lasers. Well, you never know. Yeah. <laughs> that's the theory, but let's see what happens. Oh, this one is tangled. Hopefully, oh yeah, they're sagging, aren't they? Yeah, it's a bit sad. Just, we're running out of time. The tape doesn't hold onto the, onto the thread properly. It's just impossible to work with uh, this thread. I can't work with this. Even trying to tie a knot in it, it's like... It's... But look at it. Yeah, cool. Uh, look at Good save. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Do I think know. it's just coming off... Maybe it's coming off this bit of thread there. It's like a coronal mass ejection or something, isn't it? Sun stuff, like right? Sun stuff? Yeah. I don't know, we need a proper scientist for that. I thought you were going to say it looked like a bubble. No. I'm sick of bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> we ran out of time in the studio, but I just wanted to give it one more try to see if I could get this multi-line bubble bounce effect to work. So when I got home, I did a bit of minor metal work, something that would just hold the nylon in place more securely than the tape I was using. Not much. No, no. no. Bubbles don't bounce off laser beams. They barely bounce off invisible thread, to be honest. They mostly burst. How do you think the original guy did it then? Uh, the, the thing that makes me skeptical about uh, having some invisible thread attached to something is I feel like he's moving back, you know, in yeah. and out like that. If it's attached to something, it is on an arc. And so I think sometimes the angle of the camera, could, it could be coming around like that. Oh, look, so if you're like going like that, it looks like that. It looks that. like lateral movement, but actually isn't. Yeah. I made a video once where I had some live wires here and my hands were here. Yeah. Which is about that much distance, right? But like that. And everyone was freaking out in the comments because right. uh, my hands were like doing this. It's, it's amazing how much information you lose. Yeah. Or, or else it might, it might just be as simple. He's got some thread on a on a retractable spring of yeah. some description, so he has got some, you know, like a fishing reel or something like that that have a bit of, they have tension on, don't Yeah. They? I'm just impressed, like, how hard it was just for <laughs> us to get a few bounces. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was monumentally yeah. hard. Getting the bubbles to go where you want them to go. Yeah. Uh, making the thread wet enough so that it doesn't just burst immediately. Yeah. But the most important, most difficult part is like looking at the thread and not looking at the laser. Because <laughs> sometimes yeah. you just move the laser like this to hit the bubble, but actually the thread's just in the middle. And the whole time your brain is going, I'm trying to bounce a bu bubble off a laser, <laughs> which is not what we're doing. And you, you can see the thread and you can see the laser, but you're going, oh, I'll do it. <laughs> but like the thread's over here and you're trying with the laser. To make it convincing, you need the two to line up anyway, and that's a challenge as well. Yeah. It's a massive one, look. Yeah, it's yeah, right yeah, it's, oh, boy. Oh, yeah. So I, I, I wanted to call you because uh, I reached out to Igor, is the guy's name. Yeah. Uh, who made the original video. And the he, bubble guy. Yeah. He, he replied, you heard from him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's so cool. Uh, he's uh, said lovely things about my channel. Uh, <laughs> Did he say anything about my lasers? No. No, I don't think he knows. No, he didn't mention it. No. Uh, my video with the laser and bubbles, of course, is a joke. Mm. So we, so Who I mean, knew? <laughs> Who knew? well, I guess we didn't. So it, he's uh, he's from Ukraine. So maybe it wasn't obvious to us that it was a joke <laughs> um, yeah. because it was lost in translation. But you know, it's interesting. I've uh, I put a, a, th a fake thing on my Instagram because I thought it would be fun, and I was very clear in the in the description in the text that it was fake. People didn't like it. I actually think it's okay to put stuff up, and it's a bit cheeky and it's a, a bit fake and fun. Yeah, I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence about it. I think in this case, it sparks a lot of curiosity but then on the other hand there aren't that many answers online so people are getting the wrong impression 
all the posts I saw on Stack Overflow and Reddit of people taking it really seriously. <laughs> and even people mentioning that lasers can interact with things yeah. physically. Like there is that phenomenon, isn't there? Oh, um, what you like um, lasers with like tiny tweezers particles or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah light tweezers. Yeah. yeah. Maybe if they could all speak Ukrainian or Russian, they'd have just known from the, from the very beginning that it was just complete <laughs> a complete joke. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it would have saved us a lot of time, but uh, <laughs> uh, but then we wouldn't have got to play with massive lasers. Okay, so did he tell you how he did it? Yeah, so there is, of course, a thin transparent line is used for fishing. So um, Fishing line? I said yeah, a fishing so, line. Yeah, fishing line is the answer to the question. <laughs> no, but you we know, were talking you... about the fishing reels for the springiness, right? Yeah, so that he could move it side to side. Yeah, well, wow, mystery solved. <laughs> So that's one mystery solved. But what about this diffraction grating effect? When I showed it to Steve, we started talking about the possibilities of some sort of feedback reflection inside the bubble. He also found this weird phenomenon where really thin materials can actually diffuse light. In the end though, we realized it was the glitter ball inside the room. It's not always about science. I want to like hug or shake hands. I know. Like, oh, just... Virtual handshake like that. That's lame, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. Nice to see you, yeah. though. Bye. <laughs> see ya. <laughs> Wait, we didn't sneak a sneaky subscribe message in there. Oh, um, that's the YouTube. Oh ball, yeah, isn't you do it? that then. Oh, We're your channel, post. so you should do that. Okay, fine. Do it post. Right, let's clear up. Cool. Massive thanks to Andy at Clearleft for letting us use his space in Middle Street in Brighton. And of course, thank you so much to Steve. I'm sure you all subscribe to him, but if you don't, go check out his channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and I'll see you next time. <laughs>